so those keen-eyed subscribers amongst you will have realised by now, or noticed by now, that uh, this doesn't look very much like a K1600, in particular my K1600. Um, long story, but to cut it short, uh, I just decided that it was time to get something a little bit different, a little bit lighter in particular, was my main motivation. Um, there were certain situations with the K1600 where I was finding it a little bit intimidating and difficult to manoeuvre uh, as it is a big heavy beast, I think about 330 or something kilos so I know they have had GS's before and certainly the last GS adventure I had I didn't particularly get on with it very well I thought I'd have a dab at another one, but this time I've gone for a low chassis model. So this is the uh, it's a 69 plate 2019 um, GS Adventure Rally. I think it's with the HP colours, usual spec on it, bits and bats. But uh, certainly with the low suspension, I'm at, I do feel more comfortable. I mean, I know it's early, only early days yet. I haven't had it particularly long, I've only had it about a week and I haven't really done much mileage on it during the week this, this today, uh, Saturday is my first proper run out on it uh, and I'm just sort of head out from home over towards Kirby Longsdale I've just gone past Kirby Longsdale towards the M6 turned around and I'm just heading back into towards Kirby Longsdale now and then I'm just going to have a nice steady little plod back home towards Skipton. So uh, sit back and enjoy the scenery. So just coming into the little village now of Kirby Longsdale. The sun's gone in a bit, it's not quite as bright here, but still not bad. 12, 13 degrees. Could be, could be worse. The last few days, particularly yesterday, the weather was horrendous. many people there on the green see how busy it is here with the bikers rammed totally rammed there isn't it some food
So this is Kirby Longsdale, nice and quiet. Some nice big camper vans here. Slogan on the back of one there, we're not here for a long time, we're here for a good time. I like that, that's good. Clear, 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 and off we go. So the GS 1250. First impressions. It's a very nimble bike, very nimble, especially compared with the K1600. Murky. Very, very responsive. I like the I like the lack of weight up front. Enough, but not too much that it feels tiresome or cumbersome. When everybody goes on about the TFT screens on the GSs, you know, best out there, etc. I've no real experience about what the TFT screens are like on some of the modern bikes now, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. And on this GS, they are very impactive and impressive. So I'm going to head home now, but I'm just going to call off at a place called Ostwick and see if I can get some drone footage there. And hopefully it'll stay dry and then I won't need to wash the bike when I get home. in a bit, wouldn't he? <laughs> so the lovely Yorkshire countryside. The A65 through from the M6 I think it's junction 36 through to Skipton It's like they're just leaning it like that, it just feels weightless, like a feather. But you still feel that you've got full control over it. I mean, I never felt not in control of the K1600. But there is a distinct difference between these two bikes in regards to the feedback that you get from the bike.
and I would say this is much better it's, it's cleaner feedback more clinical feedback perhaps as a better description so definitely looking forward to going to Scotland on this next year got a trip booked for May can't remember the exact dates top of my head but sometime in May Covid permitting of course there's quite a few of us going so providing it comes off there's no restrictions travel restrictions or anything like that or closures of the hospitality venues up in Scotland we should be good like a GS rider with every single light on his bike that they can ever I'm quite sure why they need all those lights on there we go style of panniers there, possibly the very ones. So I've just tried to do a bit of drone footage there it wasn't quite as successful as I thought but we'll see what it's come out like said it needed an IMU calibration but I don't think I've used this drone since I came back from Scotland last month so that could be why Oh, here you are Face to face in this 